AI is changing everything about how we work and play, and computer graphics is no exception. We've been reinventing computer graphics with artificial intelligence since the launch of RTX in 2018. DLSS is always learning. To improve the AI powering DLSS, we analyze image quality and fine tune our training datasets and algorithms. Then we retrain the model to make it smarter, faster, and easier to integrate. DLSS is the best way to play. Today, we are introducing the biggest advancements to DLSS since 2020, including new multi-frame generation for RTX 50 series GPUs, enhanced frame generation for RTX 40 and 50 series users with faster performance and lower memory usage, and a new model powering ray reconstruction, super resolution, and deep learning anti-aliasing that enhances image quality and stability for all GeForce RTX users. Alongside the RTX 40 series in 2022, we launched Frame Generation, where an AI network used an optical flow field along with motion vectors from game geometry to generate a single frame between every pair of traditionally rendered frames. The Blackwell architecture is built for neural rendering, and that unlocks new AI capabilities for DLSS. We can now generate multiple frames per traditionally rendered frame. To make this possible, our research team developed a new AI model that generates the optical flow field more efficiently and more accurately in order to generate multiple frames. Multi-frame generation requires consistent and precise frame pacing. DLSS 3 frame pacing had variability because of how different game engines divided workloads between the CPU and GPU. With the Blackwell architecture, the display engine was improved to leverage flip metering when generating multiple frames, ensuring that the GPU delivers consistent and optimal frame pacing. Additionally, fifth generation tensor cores on RTX 50 series GPUs have the computational horsepower necessary to quickly execute the series of AI models. These software and hardware innovations enable DLSS 4 on RTX 50 series GPUs to generate up to three additional frames between traditionally rendered frames. This brings revolutionary performance versus traditional native rendering. Most frame generation games available today can easily be updated to enable multi-frame generation with the NVIDIA app. In the NVIDIA app driver settings menu, open the DLSS override and select your desired output mode in the frame generation drop-down menu. When RTX 50 series graphics cards hit store shelves, multi-frame generation will be supported in more than 75 games and apps. In addition to multi-frame generation, our team has also been hard at work developing foundational improvements for our existing DLSS technologies. Today, we're introducing an enhanced single-frame generation model for RTX 40 and 50 series GPUs, which, like the multi-frame generation technique for Blackwell, uses two AI models, one for optical flow and another for frame generation. The result is increased performance and lower VRAM usage, as you can see here. DLSS 4 also introduces a more powerful transformer-based model for super-resolution ray reconstruction and DLAA, using 4x more tensor core processing power to reconstruct images at even better image quality for all RTX owners. Previously, all these technologies used the convolutional neural network model, also known as CNN. CNNs were the dominant architecture for image-related applications during the early years of deep learning development. A CNN processes pixel information through local operations, spatially around a small number of neighboring pixels, and temporally across multiple frames. Now we're introducing a new transformer-based architecture for the first time. The transformer architecture is driving the scaling laws of artificial intelligence, and it's what powers the recent advancement in AI applications. Compared to the CNN models, transformers use self-attention and can much more easily identify the longer range patterns across a much larger pixel window. Transformers scale much more effectively than CNNs, so our transformer models ingest over two times more parameters and requires four times more compute during inference. In fact, DLSS 4 on RTX GPUs is the first time transformer models generate sequential images at a high real-time frame rate. Blackwell's tensor cores provides additional hardware acceleration that boosts the inference speed of these transformer models even further. When using DLSS Super Resolution, the end product of the transformer model is more temporally stable with more image detail in motion. In intensive ray trace content, the transformer model for ray reconstruction gets an even bigger uplift in general quality. 
especially for scenes with challenging lighting. All the common artifacts from typical denoisers are significantly reduced. With the NVIDIA app, GeForce RTX users can optionally update their DLSS games with the Transformer model of Ray Reconstruction Super Resolution or DLAA. In addition to games, DLSS 4 is coming to multiple creative apps, including Unreal Engine 5, D5 Render, and Chaos Vantage. DLSS significantly enhances the real-time viewport experience, multiplying the frame rate in D5 Render, enabling designers to better iterate and collaborate on their work. Neural rendering is creating increasingly more on-screen content, and these generated pixels are higher quality than what's output by traditional native rendering. With super resolution or ray reconstruction alone, three out of every four pixels are generated with AI. When adding frame generation, seven out of eight pixels are generated by AI. Finally, with the DLSS 4 multi-frame generation, 15 out of every 16 pixels are generated by AI. With the RTX 50 series and DLSS 4, we've introduced a new generation of neural graphics, so games are more beautiful, run faster, and are more responsive. The AI-powered future is here, and DLSS 4 is the best way to play.